The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. It's live next on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Luca Digne plays with Matty Cash in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. Now they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Alphonse Areola between the posts. Vladimir Tsofal starts with Emerson in the fullback positions. Edson Alvarez plays alongside James Ward Prowse in central midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. Oh, it's a penalty. Can they get themselves in front? Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. This to make it 1-0. And there it is! Perfectly executed! Well, here we can see it again, and it's a good penalty, you have to say. Straight down the middle, keeper's committed, and all he can do is watch it sail in. Cool as you like. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Jared Bowen. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Pau Torres. Here is Digne. Torres on the ball. I must say, this looks promising. McGinn. Nicely blocked. Just can't get it past them. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Ward Prowse. Antonio. In possession, Bowen. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Appear to be in two minds. Or Kraus. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Bubakar Kamara. Well, I'm not sure West Ham could have done much more to equalise there. That was a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Lucas Paqueta. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. And the first half is in the history books now, here at Villa Park. 
This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Well, the ball rolling again. West Ham trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? A very effective challenge put in. Watkins. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, thumped clear. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Oh, good save. <laughs> they take it short. And a good-looking ball. And his header met by the post. Yeah, he did really well to get to the ball first, but he just couldn't direct it on target. We've had a pair of keys. Emerson. To reception. Please, can you go to reception if you've lost your keys? Alvarez on to Emerson now keeper getting both gloves on the ball Watkins Ollie Watkins a super tackle and they've won possession Antonio How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, it's a terrific challenge! No let-up on the pressing front. Twenty minutes to go. It needs an accurate cross. Not messing around with that clearance. Diaby. So it's going to be a goal kick here. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Ward Prowse. Now, options are plenty. Vladimir Tsofal. And he read it well defensively. Look at Dinia. And now with McGinn. What well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Oh, chance perhaps that is how to keep it out of the net and time for the change now and over it comes nodding it over well he was more determined than his marker but he just couldn't get it on target could he Well, we know they can pass the ball better than this. Paore foiling his opponent completely. 
And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And forward they go, chasing the game. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And there goes the whistle for full time. The Villa fans will leave the stadium happy on the back of this victory. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today, 